Welcome back, I'm joined by Championship Correspondent Pascal Lemire to preview Saturday's cash between Rotherham and Nipswich. Pascal, start with the away side, still up right up there, but struggling a bit of form at the moment. Yeah, it's only one win in four now, and the last result was the most disappointing of them all. You, you welcome Wigan, who are right down there in the bottom three, at Portman Road. You know, Ipswich have got the best record, home record in the league, that is. You know, a nil-nil draw there, so disappointing. Obviously, they were missing Daryl Murphy, it's the first game he's missed in a long time. The top scorer in the whole division with 18 goals, and they didn't quite cope without him, you know, they, they sort of resorted to long ball tactics a bit and they didn't have Murphy there and he's the best sort of header flicker on of the ball, so him not being there, you know, not scoring against Wigan, it was terribly out themselves, it was really disappointing and you know, they're still just three points off the top, obviously Bournemouth, uh, Derby and Middlesbrough are now above them, but you know, I think that Mick McCarthy will be pleased that he managed to keep his key players, you know, in the transfer window, they didn't really do anything on deadline day, it was very quiet there. They managed to keep Tyrone Mings, you know, at the start of January, there's a lot of talk about him going away, but that's sort of called by the end of the window. It's key that they've kept him, he's a very good left back and you know, David McGoldrick linked away, but Murphy as well, sort of hold, maybe going in for him at one point. But they've kept all their key players, which is a big thing, because those players in the first half of the season were really good. And obviously, you know, I think Mick McCarthy said he's, he's going to look at the low market when that reopens. I think all the fans, they want to see Johnny Williams back at the club, the Crystal Palace youngster. Very creative player, the sort of player they don't really have at all. So if they can, if they can get Williams back, he's injured at the moment, but once he's fit again, I think Pat, uh, Ipswich will go back in for him. It's whether Pardew, obviously another new manager at Palace now, so Pardew will have a look at him and see if he wants to keep him or not. So... That's the one player Ipswich really need, but yeah, there's still only three points off the top, and they'll see this one. It's a game against another another one of the relegation sides. So they want to win this one. Moving on to the home side, they picked up a decent point at Charlton last time out. Yeah, they fought back well. Obviously, Charlton at home, and that was Guy Luzon's first game, the new Charlton manager. So it was always going to be a tough ask to go there at the Valley, you know, against a new manager like that. And they fell behind, but they they they, they did well to come back. Danny Ward with the late goal. You know, there's still a lot of new players in there. Steve Evans. They're sort of almost a brand new Rotherham side this year. There's a lot of new players there, but. I think it was a decent point. They're twentieth in the table now, just three points off the drop zone. So, still, you know, still a lot of work to do if they're going to sort of, you know, escape the relegation battle. But I think Steve Evans, he was really disappointed on transfer deadline day. Couldn't bring anyone in. They were sort of updates. They were updating their Twitter, you know, quite often through the day, saying, "Oh, we've got another update coming up." But Steve Evans kept saying, "Yeah, we're working on two deals. I think we're going to be able to get two players in." Halfway through the day, he said, oh, "I think we're only going to be able to get one now." And a few hours later, he said, "No, they're both falling through." So I think it'd be disappointing not to get there, but. There's still a lot of talent in that squad. But it's just about him sort of moulding them together, and yeah, you know, 20th in the table, you know, they're still right down there. So both sides need the point, different reasons. We back in for this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna back Ipswich here. They have been on bad form recently. I think it'll be quite a tight game. Mick will go there and sort of you know, try and you know not give Rotherham too much. I think they might just nick a one-nil win. Also going for a one-nil away win. 